Hello gamers, welcome to another Final Fantasy React video. At the time of editing this, I have completed base Shadowbringers, and my god, was it ever devastating. So stay tuned as that will be one of the next few uploads on the channel. Today is mostly focused on the early Shadowbringers and the, of course, welcome to Shadowbringers moment that we all know and dread. I just want to take a quick moment to thank everyone who's been coming with me on this journey because it has been something absolutely magical and it's been just so cool to share it with all you guys. And as always, if you liked the video, like the video. Enjoy the rest of the video. Now, I am sure you are desperate to know the fate of your fellow scions. Yes, immensely. To put immensely. It simply, they are here in the first. Okay. Their arrival, however, was not as recent as you may imagine. Here, Time flows at a different pace God than the source. Damn it, I said this! <laughs> okay, so time flows faster here. That's why they said years. That there have been strangers coming over the years. So time moves faster here. Confirmed. My intention had been to summon only you. Oh. <laughs> but the art of reaching across worlds has proven exceedingly difficult. Keep grabbing the wrong people. Thus it was that my fumbling hand closed upon those to whom your fate is most closely uh, bound as well. <laughs> he grabbed the wrong- Bro! Okay, I feel kind of bad. Imagine being the Crystal Exarch and be like, Okay, I need the Warrior of Light. I need him. Huh, who the fuck are you? Wrong one. Huh, who the fuck are you? <laughs> like, repeat five times, <laughs> taking my whole party. <laughs> what Orianger saw was the future. That which would one day come to pass. And we saw the past. I don't think we saw any, like, like future bits. I think it was all our past experiences. This collision of worlds brought about the eighth umbral calamity and the deaths of countless multitudes. Oh, Jesus. Amongst those who perished, Uriange clearly saw the fall of the Scion's mightiest champion. He watched you die. Bro! <laughs> And thus did the Scions embrace their exile and began searching this world for a means to forestall the coming catastrophe in yours. No! Their souls are stranded in the first, yes, but they have fought on, desperate to save their home That's and so you sad. from destruction. Well, he, I promise I will dude. not rest until I have found a way to help your friends return home. I like him. I like him a lot. We agreed upon the term guilt. A word borrowed from coins uncovered within the crystal tower here. Why? Hang on a second. <laughs> Why, wait a minute. We agreed upon the term Gil. Let me just go off on my theory. I know it's not Catboy. Okay, I know it's not Catboy, but the fact that it looks like Graha, like Graha's mouth, and he let's. I'm working under the theory that somehow it is Graha. Okay, he comes from our world through the crystal tower, right? Somehow he ends up over here, and then he's helping them. And then he's also like, hmm, I don't like all your your messy monies. Let's just call it all Gil, smiley face. Avan Kerm Sin? Hey? Huh? My dear We are the Winks. We are the Winks. Paragon of pixie kind. For you? I have the most vital task. Yo, you guys didn't tell me. They did a crossover with the Winx Club. Uh, wow, so exciting for me. Wow, so exciting. You've the heart of a pixie, you do. I love them so much. <laughs> Not 10 minutes outside of Tataro's supervision and you're making fey packs. It's fine. A fey pack has never gone wrong in any situation ever. Woo! Although that looks like a bitch to close. <laughs> you? You? Bro, what is the warrior of darkness? I know you. You're the warrior of light from the source. Yeah. What is he doing here? What? Did you just... You can hear me? Yes, sir. Oh, God, how long has it been? I... I... 
That was what I called myself in your world. The Warrior of Darkness. My real name is Ardbert. Ardbert. I used an alias in the source. A daft one, looking back. If you recall my tale, it was my comrades and mm -hmm. I who caused the flood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We thought our home doomed. And so we listened to the Asians. Let them guide us to the source and try to hasten their God's damned ardor. <sighs> Artbert, our beloved, he was tricked. I remember when we fell, defeated by you and yours. I remember our audience with Minfilia. How she listened to our pleas and returned our souls to the first. The flood was poised to swallow Norvrant. Minfilia and my friends, they... They surrendered what little they had left to hold it back. Aww. Just faded away. <laughs> leaving me to bear witness. The alias was Arbert. Not Ardbert. He left out a D. How much time has passed since we caused the flood? Oh, I think they said at least a hundred. A hundred years. Mm. A hundred long years. Him a ghost. My hands find no purchase. My gestures catch no eye, and my pleas, be they whispered or screamed, reach not a single ear. I am a shade, cursed to do naught but drift. I feel as if I've been walking forever. I hardly noticed when my mind and body began to fray at the edges. Then bang! My senses were sharp again. I felt like a fish being reeled in, and before I knew it, I found myself in this room. I wonder if he was drawn to us. Why is it that you can see me? What are you even doing here, come to that? You were summoned to save the first kind of feels like a slap in the face a waste of time this world is beyond saving like those who try to save it oh Hardbird is such a good guy when he isn't the warrior of darkness i like his character a lot literally i liked his character from the moment they I revealed the backstory maybe. i've not forgotten that but if fate has brought me to you the one person in this god's forsaken world who can see and hear me then perhaps there is a reason I endured. If I can find out why I was left behind, then maybe... Maybe I can bring this journey of mine to an end. Well, I'll be watching, Warrior of Light. Dude. But do me a favor. Be careful out there. This world has had its fill of heroes. I want to see him happy. I want to see him smile when we save the first. That's what I'm looking for. That's what I want. I've decided my journey in Shadowbringers is to make Ardbert smile. The flood of light. Dude, it's like a crystallized wall of light all around the edges. That's so cool. Ready to depart for Amarang? Alize will be overjoyed to see you safe. I know she was particularly concerned for your well-being. She, uh, impressed upon me how regrettable the timing of her summoning was. Repeatedly! <laughs> yeah, we're going to Alize. I'm Tesleen. I work as a carer at the inn, and I've gotten to know Alize quite well since she took up guard duties there. Wow, dude. Oh, a Sin Eater! Get back here! Is that my girl? It's my girl. Hi, Alize. Is that... It can't be. It is! 
how are you? I'm good, how are you? Aww, I'm happy. She seems different. Then they either perish or are warped into mindless abominations. Is that how the Sin Eaters are made? From people? Yes, that's how the Sin Eaters <laughs> came to be. They were once living creatures or people that were caught in the path of the flood. <laughs> okay, that felt... <laughs> <laughs> that felt like Alize was answering me directly. <laughs> like me, the player. <laughs> Once the change is wrought, there is no going back. I've borne witness to a lot of last meals. Well, that explains sort of her cadence of speaking now. She's sat here I watching. Feel just as helpless as before. No matter how hard I fight, it's never enough. She sat here watching repeated death, despite her continued patrols. Dude, what a place to be in. But it's a war I mean to wage, nonetheless. Give me a moment to warm up the pot. The fact that she can be this chipper and lighthearted and even playful, despite being a carer and being this upbeat, despite, let's say, where in she works. In a place like this, you learn to take what moments of happiness you can get. This, this exactly, is what I was trying to say. To still appreciate the happier moments, despite being surrounded by death. I remember when I first death. came here with my mother. She was showing the early signs. Oh no. Halric! Halric! Oh! She cut off a wing! We have to run! <gasps> Tesley! No! Excuse me? <gasps> we all deserve happiness. Wherever we can find it. The time left to you is precious. No one should die. In pain. She says with a massive fucking stab wound. Mother. Mother. I... Bro. Jesus. Holy fuck. I just glance over at chat and all I see is welcome to Shadowbringers. Oh no. No, 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 no. Sorry, sir. I tried to tell the carers what happened, but I can't be the shoulder they lean on. Not like this. Thank you. What you're doing, it, it means a lot to them. To me. It's 
sorry to interrupt. We, uh, realized we hadn't thanked you for rescuing Halric. You weren't hurt at all, were you? Hurt? There wasn't even a fight. I was too late. Too slow. No, oh my god, no. She said she's too slow. Oh, no, dude. Oh, God. I don't like when people blame themselves for things that is not their fault. There's literally nothing she could... Oh, my God. Might be tissue time. Oh. Like, when it comes to loss, this is the thing that kills me the most is when other people blame themselves for situations they couldn't help in. Oh, too slow. And I thought I could protect you. I'm gonna ball. Such devastation. <laughs> I was largely okay. More so in like reeling from the shock of the scene. That I was alright. But I was scared that Alize might be like this. And that's that's what kills me. You can't blame yourself for things beyond your control. You brought Halric back safe and sound, and no one uh, could have done anymore. I'm sorry, but I've come to a decision. I won't be continuing my role here. I hope you'll forgive me for leaving you, and that you will delay Halric's last meal for as long as you possibly can. Not until it's too late, of course. Just give him what time you can. We always do. Of course, she would have done the same. Farewell, Halric. Keep Tesslene's words close to your heart. Oh, what a bummer. Were Astinian here, he would most likely scoff at my soft-heartedness. Same old Alfido, ever the slave to sentiment. <laughs> but I thank you for your kind words nonetheless. <laughs> Let us see to it that both these stories have a happy ending. Hang on, his Astinian impression kind of sounded like, um, like PS, was it PS1 Hagrid or PS2 Hagrid? Don't ask me again. <laughs> it sounded like that. <laughs> oh, I disliked that. I loved it. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs>